How you doing everyone and welcome back to another video on the Azit official channel. My name is Aaron Massey and we are on a good roll and I'm keeping the consistency here. We're in February 2022 and I'm going to be keeping more consistent over the next few months and continue to put out the most I can. So in this video today, this video today is going to be a little bit complex and a little bit advanced but I'm going to do my best to break it down as simple as possible so you watching this would be able to understand as well. Now in today's video we're going to talk about linear beats. Now you might think what is a linear beat? Well to understand the basics of a linear beat, a linear beat is when you're playing one note at a time. Basically one note for every beat. So with these three linear beats I'm about to show you, these are linear beats that I created myself. So I tried to make it as simple as possible but also make the linear beat sound sick as well. So with understanding what a linear beat is, let's jump into the video. So with this first beat, the first beat is actually the hardest, it's played in a 30 second note. So the way to imagine it is being played in semi quavers. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But the way I'm going to break it down is the 1 eander method. So 1 eander, 2 eander, 3 eander, 4 eander. So on beat 1, you're going to have your kick on beat 1, then your left hand played on the 1 E on the high tom then your right hand on the floor tom on the and of one and then your left hand on the snare drum on the R of one then you're gonna miss B2 but come in on the 2E and you're gonna have your left hand on the high tom and then the ander of two you're gonna have your right and then your left hand played on the floor tom then coming straight into beat three we're gonna have the kick we're gonna have the kick on beat three then on 3E it's silent then on the and and the R of beat three, it's the floor tom with your right and left. And then what you're gonna do on the beat of four is bring your right hand back on the snare drum. So then you pretty much repeat the same groove for the next four bars, but at the end of bar four, the second time you're playing, there's two more notes added. So on the end of beat four with your right hand on the snare and then the R of the beat four with your left hand on the snare. So I'm gonna break it down at a slow tempo and see if you can follow along. Now what we're going to do with this groove, we're going to play at a slow tempo of 70 BPM. See if you can catch up with that and then we're going to later on go up to 100 BPM, which is our main goal. Moving on to beat 2, this is a lot simpler, this is only played in the 16th note division and for this beat it's only played on the hi-hat, the snare and the kick drum. So it's a lot more simple than the first beat but it still sounds amazing to play so let's get into it. Also we're going to be breaking it down again by doing the one eander method. So on beat 1 we have the kick drum, then on 1 E we've got an open hi-hat, then on the end of 1 we've got the kick drum again. Then on the R of 1, we've got a normal hi-hat. So during the whole of beat 1, you're going to keep your right hand on the hi-hat. Then moving over to beat 2, you're going to have your left hand played down on the snare. Then on 2E, you're going to bring your right hand on the hi-hat. Then you're going to bring your left hand up on the hi-hat on the end of 2. And then on the R of 2 is the kick drum again. Moving over to beat 3, you're going to have your right hand on the hi-hat. Then your left hand on the hi-hat again on 3E. And then on the and and R of 3, it's on the kick drum. Then moving on to beat 4, you're going to have your right hand played down on the snare drum. On 4E, we've got the kick drum played. And then on the and of 4, you're going to bring your right hand up again on the hi-hat. 
and then on the R of four is with your left hand on the hi-hat. So once again, we're gonna break down at a slow tempo, then play at a tempo of 70 BPM, then reaching our goal, which is 100 BPM. Now for this last beat, let's jump straight into it. This is probably my favorite one out of the three. So hopefully it won't be too hard for you, but again, break it down, play it at a slower tempo first before you gradually build yourself up to a faster tempo to play at. So on the beat of one is a kick drum. Then what we're gonna do is cross over our hands. So we're gonna play our right hand on the high tom on the beat of one E. Then on the end of one, we're gonna have our left hand played on the floor tom. And then on the R of one, it's gonna be your right hand on the floor tom. In beat one, what you're gonna be doing is the crossover technique. Then moving on to beat two, you're gonna have your left hand played on the snare on beat two. Then on two E is the kick drum. Then on the end of two, we're gonna hit our right hand on the hi-hat. Then on the R of two, you're gonna use your left hand and hit the high tom. Now moving on to beat three is the kick again on beat three. Then on the beat three E, it's your right hand played on the floor tom. Then moving down to the end of three, it's your left hand played on the hi-hat. Then on the R of three, it's the kick drum again. Finally on beat four, what you're gonna have is your left hand played down on the snare drum. Then on four E, it's the kick drum. Then lastly, on the end of four, you're gonna have your right hand first played on the floor tom. And then on the R of four is your left hand on the floor tom again. So once more, we're gonna break it down at a slower tempo then to bring the tempo up to 70 BPM and then reaching our goal, which is 100 BPM. Now once you have completed these linear beats, this is what it sounds like when you're playing it in one go.
So those were the three creative linear beats. Now, if you were struggling with this video, definitely go back and slow the video down. If you have to go through the beats at a very slow tempo before you start building up. These creative linear beats are there to help you as a guide to eventually playing more linear beats. You could even take these beats and kind of create your own linear style groove. But that's it for today's video. So make sure to, again, I don't have to keep reminding you, but you should know by now to like, comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next video. Also do share this with other people around you. I'll be doing more stuff like this. There's also another cover I'm doing very soon. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I will definitely do another video with easier linear beats to learn as well. So that's it for this week. I'll see you back next week. And remember, subscribe. Hope you have a good week. Take care, guys.